This is my review on flying Delta Comfort Plus, specifically row 29 on their uh, Boeing 777-200LR, their three-class aircraft. They fly this aircraft regularly between uh, Atlanta and Johannesburg, flight 200 on the way over and 201 on the way back. I've flown Delta before, but never in their Comfort Plus seating. Uh, tried to review it as much as I could. Decided that I was going to try to get the front row because I'm six foot one, 200 pounds, and I'm right-handed and broad-shouldered, so I wanted as much room as I could. I was in 29A on the way over and 29F uh, on the return, and that was definitely my preferred seating because I had the elbow and uh, arm room on the right-hand side. As you can see, it's right behind the first class section right there at the front of the wing. Again, I sat in 29A on the trip over. Uh, that is the right-hand side of the aircraft over there for GH and I. Uh, plenty of leg room. Uh, again, it's kind of weird to take a video when you're in an aircraft like this with strangers. I was flying by myself, so that man on the right is a complete stranger. The lady to him was flying by herself. Uh, and I explained to him I was not trying to be a creep or anything, but they allowed me to film. And uh, plenty of leg room. I just put my stuff there on the floor. It never really got in the way. I want to freeze frame it right here so you can see how much leg room everybody on that front row, row 29, has. It was just a lot of room. You could get up and stretch, go to the bathroom. Even when they were asleep there next to me, I could still get past them without waking them up, without tripping over them, uh, bumping the people in front of me, moving their chair around. That's the entertainment center. Uh, I didn't really use it. It worked fine when I did. I took an iPad loaded with movies you know, to entertain myself. Uh, but it, it was functional. I had no complaints with it. Uh, right there, I want to freeze frame it. That's where I would reach down uh, to plug in my power sources. Uh, right there it is. You've got a 110 and USB ports for charging. Uh, they are kind of worn. They get kind of worn out there, so you got to monitor your plugs, make sure they're still plugged in. But I was able to charge my stuff on the flight over. Again, 16 hours is a long, long haul. For the window view, those that care, uh, that's what it looked like again but when you're flying 30 to 40,000 feet on an international flight that's what it looks like you really don't have much of a view anyway uh, but coming into Johannesburg I was able to see down there so that was nice on the return trip I flew 29F my preferred seat uh, it was the one I would always pick if I could I really like that seat again being right-handed uh, eating right-handed broad-shouldered I could sit there and eat without having to disturb my neighbor to the right so for you big guys that might be the seat you want to take Again, a lovely couple to my left here in the center section. Uh, they always got up and went to the left. They never even bothered coming past to the right. Uh, but I could stand up there and get to my overhead bin without a problem. It was very, very nice. That was definitely my favorite chair. Uh, I'm not going to take a lot of pictures here of food, uh, but the food was good. Had no problems, no complaints. Uh, very delicious. I ate every bit of it. Uh, would I recommend Comfort Plus, especially on these long-haul flights? Yes, I would. It was worth every penny. I think it was about $270 for me to upgrade each way. And the front row was definitely the way to go for me. So I hope this review was helpful. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.